to ensure the health and productivity of a commercial plantain farm, careful management of pests, diseases, and soil condition becomes critically important. And one innovative solution that is both ecologically friendly and effective is the use of hydrogen peroxide. In this video, I am going to be taking you through the important things to take note of when you are making use of hydrogen peroxide so that you don't end up destroying your food instead of treating your food. So come along as I take you through the techniques in using hydrogen peroxide for your food management practices. But before we go in real quick, if you haven't subscribed to our channel just yet, I need you to quickly punch on that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell and do well to give this video a thumb up. So come along, let's dive in and show you critical things you must take note of when you are making hydrogen peroxide. For reference, the hydrogen peroxide we are going to be using is the 50% concentration hydrogen peroxide. But then nothing to worry about. I'm going to be showing you how to dilute from 50% to 3% concentration and then from 3% to then applying it to your plantain feeds. So stay glued and pay critical attention. First things first, thoroughly wash all items you are going to be using for this operation. The ideal concentration to use is 3%. However, in a situation where you cannot get a 3% concentrated hydrogen peroxide and you have a 50% concentration like we have here, we will teach you how to dilute from a 50% to a 3% concentration and how to also dilute further the 3% concentration into a concentration that is ideal to the plant and will not be harmful to your plantains. So let us start with how to dilute a 50% concentration to a 3% concentration. Add one liter of the 50% concentration into a 16 liter of water. This would dilute the hydrogen peroxide from 50% to 3% concentration. Also note that you cannot apply the 3% concentration directly to the plant as it is still very concentrated. After you've diluted to 3%, the next thing you are going to be doing is to dilute that 3% into a concentration that can then be applied to your plant to disinfect the plant. In order to dilute further, you would use one liter of the 3% concentration and you mix it in 16 liters of water meaning that you need one liter of the 3% concentration to mix in one knapsack sprayer after the second form of dilution which is diluting the 3% into a form that can then be applied to plant you are ready to go all you need to do is turn one liter of the 3% into a knapsack sprayer also take note of this critical information when you are diluting never pour water into hydrogen peroxide when diluting but rather pour the hydrogen peroxide into the water gently again never apply water into the hydrogen peroxide because this will cause a huge reaction and would release huge heat and bubbles always always ensure you wear gloves and protective glasses because when the hydrogen peroxide comes in contact with your skin it could quick cause an irritation and also to form a white fruity appearance just as you seen on the screen the white fruity appearance would disappear after a while so do not panic when you have hydrogen peroxide coming in contact with your skin but if you can avoid it ensure you avoid them totally so we are going to dive into the field to show you how the application is being carried out so hydrogen peroxide is a natural disinfectant that helps you combat pathogens and diseases. Those of you who are, you know, a little bit critical about the use of hydrogen peroxide, this is a natural occurring disinfectant. So I'm going to be taking you into the field and show you how the application is being done. First thing first you want to do is you want to ensure that you are targeting the right part on this plant. And you want to do this after you are done pruning your feet. So make sure this immediately after you are done with pruning that you want to begin with the application of the peroxide. So the point you want to target is you want to target the growing point of your plant. You want to also target all the openings, especially areas where 
you just recently pruned you want to target the the entire body of your pseudo stem and then you want to target the root zone okay you want to ensure that the entire root zone is targeted because it's also very very good to disinfect the soil and then keep the soil condition very healthy so you want to do all of these and you want to do them correct you want to also target the net the leaves of the plant you want to target beneath the leaves okay in case you have any insect hiding beneath it so for you to have an effective disinfecting of your field using hydrogen peroxide you must try to do it rightly just as it's currently doing you must target the entire stem okay if there's any pathogen or any disease or any insect hiding on the stems especially all this part so you must ensure you target every part of the stem every part of the stem especially all this part of this of the plant where you know you could have pathogens hiding or anything at all insect carrying pathogens and you literally want to ensure that this disinfectant or the solution gets to, as you can see now, these are eggs, are probably eggs of insects. You want to ensure that the solution gets to all of those points so that every part of the plant is disinfected and also the soil won't be left out. Every part of the soil has to be also disinfected, okay? So that is the whole essence of, you know, making use of hydrogen peroxide like we said it's naturally occurring when you use it rightly you are definitely going to get a very good result and this treatment can be carried out weekly or it can be carried out once every two weeks for you to get very very awesome result from your field so this is what you do literally as we have seen in this video we have come to the end of this video. I am super excited that you have learned something today. You have learned how to go about with the disinfection of your commercial plantain field. So it's a disinfectant, basically disinfect and treat your field or get your field rid of certain pathogens. So you want to do it the right way, you want to do it the natural way. For people who have been complaining, I do not want to use pesticide or insecticide that they sell. You can use hydrogen peroxide. It's naturally occurring and if you you know follow every step we have shown in this video you are going to be getting very good result so we want you to do it right and if you are going to be making use of hydrogen peroxide then you can be doing it every week just to get the very best of result from that your fit so for now guys bye for now peace and love make sure you do agriculture right and if you haven't followed her channel just said all you need to do real quick is to punch on the subscribe button Turn on your own notification bell and do well to give this video a thumb up. See you in our next video. Peace.